and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over the best budget beast in Madden 20 right now, guys. Now, haven't made one of these in a few weeks. We've gotten quite a few cards, a lot of card drops, and honestly, quite a few brand new budget beasts to the list. And I like to keep these usually within 100,000 coins. So, as cards have come out, first off, we've got new cards. Second, card prices have obviously went down because of the influx of cards. So a, lot of, a lot of cards are way more affordable now, which has really made it a lot easier to make better budget teams. And honestly, some of these videos, at first, you guys, you guys probably could care less. But over time, these videos usually do pretty well because I imagine that a lot of you guys, you guys start playing, you guys start upgrading your budget team, it's helpful. So I like to, so I like to toss these out here on some slow Madden days so you guys have this out there for whenever you need it. Now guys, the giveaways are still going on. I will be announcing the giveaway winner on the community tab on my channel today, so be sure to check that out. As per usual, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below, the number of like you are, and subscribe to the channel. Once you do all those things, you're to win. Remember, every 80 likes is another 10k given away. So, that's all you guys gotta know. Now let's get into this list. So let's head over to the auction block. First player, which is a running back now. I don't think he's the best running back on this list, but I think he is one of the better budget running backs in general. So it is going to be Redux Tevin Coleman for 82,000 coins, 92 speed, 90 excel, 91 agility, 89 carrying, 67 catching, 86 elusiveness, 81 trucking, and 80 break tackle. He's just very well rounded. Decent enough carrying to get it done. Great excel, great speed, great agility. And then his, his power is just average. Like it's nothing special, but it can make a play here or there depending on a corner, especially if you're on cornerbacks. At the end of the day, if you're on a cornerback, all you need is a little bit of power to really make a play. But he's number 10. At free safety, guys, we got Justin Reed. 68K. And typically, you can find him even cheaper if you just sit on here. Really not a bad value. Especially when you look at his stats. Again, another well-rounded guy. Because now as budget teams are able to afford more. Or should I say get more for the same amount of coins. Because cards are coming down in price. You want to be focusing for jack-of-all-trade type guys. Because now you can actually get guys with good stats all around. With good athleticism. On the lower end before you were only able to get guys with good athleticism but you couldn't get them with good other stats now you can kind of get a mix of both so 91 speed 91 excel great athleticism for a budget team attack kind of low but the play rec's great pursuit's great and the 82 man 90 zone coverage and 80 hit power he can play zone he can play man in a blitz he can decently lay the boom he's fast he's tall all around just a very very good free safety for a great price now for a strong safety coming at number eight is going to be troy palomalu the legend set piece which is 2006 week six Look at this card, very similar, 90 speed, 92 excel, 85 tackle, 92 play rec, 90 pursuit, 90 zone coverage, and 88 hit power. So you're going to have two top tier zone guys, very athletic, decent height on the first one, a little below average on Chirpal model, but trust me, you don't really notice it, and great hit power. All around the free safety and strong safety duo, going to be super great. Now let's come over to quarterback, which is going to be a mix of two guys, but I'm going to go over the first one for now, which is going to be Lamar Jackson. Now Lamar Jackson, you got to power him up. For Lamar Jackson, for you to properly get his uh, stuff, I'd recommend you power him up. I'm pretty sure you can still put a skate artist on him without powering him up, but I'd recommend you do to get his passing a little better. But if you don't want to, you can still get a skate artist on him, which is the biggest part of this. Getting quarterbacks with a skate artist is one of the most beneficial things you can have in Madden this year. Trust me, it is very frustrating to play Madden this year without being able to escape the pocket when you're under pressure. And an ultimate team, like regs are different, but an ultimate team, trust me, you're under pressure a lot of the time. And it's, it's, it's not okay to not have a skate artist, trust me. It makes the games a lot easier. I recommend you get him. And he's really not that expensive anymore. He's only in the 50k range. And he has other cards above him that you can even upgrade to if you ever felt the need to. Next, at wide receiver, we got coming in at number 6 is going to be Tyreek Hill. Now, Tyreek Hill doesn't go for too much, surprisingly. About 80,000 coins, and if you felt you'd probably get it for cheaper. But that 94 speed is going to be the difference. You're going to get great speed with good deep route running. What I really care about is that speed. He's going to be the, the burner on your D on your offense. And you can even power him up if you really want to. He doesn't have another card below this besides his base elite. So you can probably power him up, camera up, and everything for about 100k worth of, probably maybe 110k with a base elite, power up, training. And this card really not bad at all. Or you can keep him base. It doesn't really matter. It's just for the speed increase if you so choose to do so. Next, we got a guy coming in at number five, which is our right tackle, Ryan Ramsick for the New Orleans Saints. 52,000 coins, really not bad. And the beauty of him, he's well rounded. You put some chems on him or even just power him up, you'll probably get him to above 90 pass blocking and above 90 run blocking all around. That's a super solid value for 52,000 coins. Gonna be a great blocker all around, which you really kind of need on the tackle spot. I, I don't, I really hate in this game when they have tackles that can only do one thing, either pass or run block, because then if they can run block 
and I pass the ball, and like crucial third down and long, I pass the ball, I get sacked. Or vice versa, they can only pass block. Then when I'm like close, or I'm trying to, I'm trying to like get my run game going. I can't get a run game going. You kind of need both, especially on the tackle side, because if they give up that block, that could ruin a stretch, that could ruin a pitch, that could ruin a counter. It could, very, it could ruin a lot of run plays. You have to stick to only inside runs. Now coming to number four, we got another quarterback, which for me is going to be one of the ones that I've been I've had on this list almost all year. One of the best budget piece cornerbacks, which is going to be Steve Young, 64,000 coins. Not a bad value. He's a very good thrower, a very good runner, and a, a great arm overall. Now, I recommend you power him up. Now, power him up won't cost you much. Probably cost you about like 10,000, 15,000 coins worth of training. Maybe, maybe 20,000 coins worth of training. Which will leave him at about 84,000 coins. You can use that to get escape artist on him. And powered up, he gets escape artist and dashing dead eye. Which does mean you're going to have one of the best versatile running slash throwing quarterbacks in Madden. And trust me guys, dashing dead eye makes a huge difference. It allows you to make perfect accuracy throws on the run. So literally, you can just scramble every single play and run away from everyone. Just press any button. You're going to be perfect accuracy. And it makes you actually more accurate than throwing while standing still. So I recommend you guys get that. I think he's better than Lamar in that sense. But again, if you guys are pure speed pure athletic type quarterback guys and Steve Young isn't going to be your guy it'll be probably Lamar but that's how I rank him coming in at number three now this guy just came out for the theme diamonds guys and he's super 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 glitchy I just saw him I just actually passed him right there 90 overall halfback on the Buccaneers which is going to be Ronald Jones 90 overall now I didn't think too much of this guy when I first saw him but I did remember I was like, he's pretty fast so I clicked on him 94 speed he can't be powered up obviously but 94 speed 94 excel 94 agility do I need to say much more? He's going to be one of the fastest cards in the field, with one of the best excels, and one of the most agile cards in the field. The carrying's decent, the truck and brake tackle suck, but you don't really care for that. He's going to be a pure straight line runner. You can run him up the middle. If you get if you get past the linebacking core, you're gone. You can run stretch, pitch, counters, you can run everything with this guy, Ronald Jones, all around. It's just a great card. I highly recommend you guys pick him up. Honestly, he could have been higher on this list if he could have had a power up. Because if he had a power up, he probably could have gotten to like a 97 speed, which would have been pretty unreal. Now, coming in for at number two is going to be middle linebacker, which you guys probably already know about. And it's going to be Devin White. Now, I have to find him, of course, because I think he actually might be a higher overall than that. But Devin White, team of the week, was one of the best middle linebackers for quite a while. Coming in at about 80,000 coins, and he can be powered up. 90 speed, 89 excel, 93 tackle, 92 at power. When it comes to Devin White, you got to look down the middle of the stats. You see the 90, the 93, and the 92. You're probably going to be using him, so you get the high speed, 6 feet tall, can be he makes his tackles and he can hit like a truck so you can force fumbles you can pick he can pick people up and i'm pretty sure he's got pretty solid hands 63 hands for a linebacker isn't great but it's not horrible i thought they were a little bit better maybe i think i'm Devin bush but still Devin White, and you can be he can be powered up which can only make his stats a lot better and his zone's really not too far away from being an 80 on overall this card's amazing and i'm pretty sure he does have another card which you could upgrade to or that might have been the upgraded card either or still gonna be a great card and i'm coming in at number one this guy did come out during the blitz promo I don't know if you guys remember him, Dante Jackson. He was a limited time Blitz card at the time. No one really cared for him at the time because it was LTD and Blitz. We had a lot of other cool cards, but this card was super underrated, especially on a budget team if you look at it, right? 94 speed, 90 excel, and he can be powered up. And it won't cost you too much. I don't think he has any other cards, really. 94 agility, 90 jumping, 88 play rec, 91 man, 85 zone coverage, and 85 press. So the way this works, he's going to be one of the fast cornerbacks in the field. Great agility, great jumping, great zone, great press. I mean, great man. If you want, if you blitz with him, you still be able to hold on to almost anyone. With that man, the press isn't going to be great. So I wouldn't press him. He probably will get burned. If you're pressing a decent squad, you can't put a god squad, I would not press him. But overall, this Dante Jackson, super athletic, can do almost everything. And if you could power him up and chem him up properly, you might have John Madden. You could maybe get his zone to a 90, as well as his speed with Sprinter will get up to about a 97 powered up. So he could be super athletic. And on a theme team, I mean, on a theme team, on a budget team, you always want your cornerbacks to have a kind of A plus speed because if you if the other stats aren't if you can't cover anyways, might as well have some speed to avoid big plays happening because that's the worst thing when you have a budget team. If you're too trust me, when I go up against budget teams, I see them online. As soon as I see that my wide receivers all have like plus 10 speed on you, like you have all like all your guys have 90 zone man, right? But they all have 88 speed, like Darius Slays or like I can't think right now, but you guys get the point. Those guys, when I see them, I just treat my guys instantly. It's instant touchdowns. You can't keep or run the ball. But if you have high speed, I have to actually like throw good. I have to actually be kind of decent, just to, like make reads and do stuff. It'll be easy reads, but you get the point. I recommend you get this. It's really limits just big plays, and that's kind of important when you have a budget team. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification. Come join the family.
Make sure to enter the giveaway. Make sure to like the video and be subscribed. And every 80 likes is going to be another 10k giveaway. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.